Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Ashes 2063, this is episode 3. So we've made it back to the town of The Wall, where the scab lives, and now we're going to try to sell this radio we brought back. Nothing really going on in our house, which is also a garage. And you can see the door for the tutorial that leads to the shooting range is just blocked off. So, here in town, we can talk to folks. As you might expect, most of them don't have much to say. Also, you can see this was Yakut 1, the Free Power Refugee Center. So, originally this was a refugee camp when the plagues and whatnot broke out. These guys, I think, are supposed to look like the Spartans from Metro, especially from this angle right here. At least that's what their gear looks like to me. I used to be a stalker like you, till I got the fucking job. Thought he was gonna go with bullet in the knee. Barrett has left town. I hope he never comes back. Alright, loser. Did you find anything good while you were out there? Not a lot, really. Just an old radio. Great. Just great. I'm sure that's gonna solve our food problem. Whatever. How are we supposed to survive if all you people bring back is junk? I'm not gonna find a lot of food out there. <laughs> that's still good. Can I help you? What's been going on in town? Barrett's men have moved into the dam. Probably gonna start charging for power again. Stay clear of them. We'll kick them out eventually. Why aren't you stopping them? Us and what army? That's a National Guard job. We'll just wait until Barrett turns up missing, then we'll get those idiots. National Guard? Yeah, the old provisional army. What was left of it? Last local unit went into the city, oh, about three years ago. They haven't been heard from since. I've never even heard of them. Yep, we had a general and about two dozen soldiers. It used to be a big help, keeping the peace. Wonder whatever happened to them. He didn't say why they left. Maybe because I have no idea? Last thing this general said to me was he had been made aware of a great need for something. Pfft, I think they just deserted. Yeah, probably. Anyone else hear that weird radio message? Sorry, haven't been listening. We only use the radio to pass messages to the other outposts. Why, you hear something interesting? We're just gonna walk away and not answer that question. Alright, we got the bar here. You notice that most of these guys also have the gang sprites? But I guess that's just normal attire for this apocalypse. So we've got the bartender Kurt here, who looks very much like Snake Plissken. You know, Kurt Russell. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's intentional. What do you got? Alcohol and water is $20. Food is 50 It's the dry season, so prices are up. So, we can get some food, and it'll uh, buff up our health, I'm pretty sure. But, we don't have that much. Unfortunately, the one secret that I missed in the last level was actually a collectible, which is worth 100 bucks. So, it's a shame that we missed that. I could take that motorcycle off your hands. Just saying. You wanna talk? Talk to Smiley. Don't bother me. They did say that the traitor, Smiley, is a, a bit of a gangster himself, and I'm pretty sure these are all his men. Tech Noir Club. Disco Night. One day we're gonna own this town. You can talk to pretty much everybody, but again, there aren't that many that have unique things to say. We need some women in this chicken shit outfit. Kurt's female friend is pretty hot. Shame you don't see her around much. Don't waste your money in Smiley's store. He gets his stuff dirt cheap from Barrett's goons. So let's go talk to Smiley, who is up here past this guy's stall. We're just going to cut through. I make sure no lowlifes make trouble for the boss. And there's the smiling motherfucker himself. Trader breaks into a grin as you approach. What's up? How you doing? What brings you down to my neck of the waist today? Hey, Smiley. I tried out that store. I got something you might want. 
but I'm pretty sure he tipped us off to go check out the Walmart. What are you selling? Hmm, something about that sounded real familiar. I learned that from something many years ago. Wink. Right. Well, I've got this radio here. I even managed to get it working. Take a look. Ah, sweet. Electron. Multiband. Pretty good condition. Does it still work? Yep, just needs fresh batteries. Oh, I got tons of those. You pick up anything on it? Those funny old government, this is not a test message is still playing? <laughs> not really. Picked up what sounded like a transmission of some kind. Oh? What transmission? I heard a voice. A woman's. <laughs> now I know you're talking shit. A woman, huh? Telling you a bunch of numbers and shit? That old story's more shifty than me, pal. I'm telling you, I heard her. Have a listen yourself. Really? Funny that. I don't hear nothing. Look, I know what I heard. I'm not lying to you. You know, Barrett left town in a big rush last night. Headed for the city. Only place a broadcast like that could come from. Maybe he heard it too. Whatever, I'll give you the radio for a hundred bucks. Done. Here's your money. Pleasure doing business. Really? Just like that? No haggling? Say, you and I, we're both friends. You think you could do me a favor? If you do it, I'll give you a discount in the future. Oh, I get it. You want something. What is it, Smiley? There's a friend of mine. He lives in the city, in the old tunnels by Michonne Circle. I got a package he could use. Think you could get it to him? The city? Why would anyone live there? I'd do it myself, but you know how it is. Militia needs me here, miles of desert. You could get there right quick, on that flaming steed of yours. And what is in the package? That's for his eyes, Scav. All you need to know is that you will be greatly rewarded. He's a weapons dealer too, you know. High power, military munitions. Interesting. And I know you wasters love any opportunity to get something to help you out. <laughs> Alright, I'll bite. How am I meant to find this guy? I already told you, Michonne Circle. He owns a store. His name is Riggs. Some of my boys used to go trading there. So I know there's a way through. Ask the barkeep. He'll know. This better not be a waste of my time, Smiley. Scavenger, you wound me deeply. When have any of my tips led you astray? You should be paying me for that last one. It wasn't exactly a treasure trove. That place... Fine. Give me the package. Don't bother trying to open it, and let me know when you're ready to leave. I'll send word that you're coming. This it better be worth it. Heh. <laughs> Come see me when you want to head out. Or buy anything. Oh, before you go, can I make you another offer on that bike? No chance. See ya. I'm surprised that most people don't try to take his bike, since nobody else seems to have working vehicles around here. He's also got all these guns, but, uh... He's not going to sell them to us. What do you got to sell? What are you buying? Are those weapons back there for sale? <laughs> nice try, Scav. You know that stuff is for the, for the militia or Barrett's people. Fine, you got anything you can sell? For you, I scored some med kits the other day. Almost brand new. You can have one for... a hundred. I also got some shotgun shells and some 45 bullets. Say, 30 for the bullets, 80 for the shells? We don't really need to worry about ammo too much. I think we're doing all right on it for now, so we'll just take the med kit. Always good to have a couple extra. And our health is not doing great right now. All right, so can't leave yet. We gotta go talk to a few more folks. It's gonna be a very chatty episode, but I think we'll be able to fit in the next level as well. It's not too long. Well, it could be long, but when you know where you're going, it's not too long. There's also a switch here. I can't remember if that goes anywhere. I assume it opens this. Which would get you back behind that stuff. Also, you can see what the scav looks like here. I don't know why he's wearing such a bright green hood. Also, if you crouch, you just turn back into the Doom guy. They didn't make a custom crouching sprite, which, considering this is like the only mirror in the game, I am 
fine with them not having a unique sprite for that. Do you know how to get to Michonne Circle? Michonne Circle? You mean the station, right? Why would you want to go there? I need to find someone. Well, it's been a long time. See, we used to send supplies out that way. I remember we used to take the north road until we reached the outskirts. Then we went through the tunnels. Tunnels? Well, before the war, big machines used to carry people around underground. The subtrains or whatever. Better going that way than surface. That's the way we went in. How will I know I'm going the right way? Just follow the arrows. No, really, I'm serious. We used to mark out the routes in white paint. Don't stray from the route and you'll be fine. And that'll take me to Michonne Circle? Well, maybe. That route should pass through South Station. There's a small market there. Someone will know the way from there. Thanks for the help. And if you ask him for work, sorry. Got nothing right now. Check back later. I don't think he ever has work for us. Maybe in episode two. I imagine you are going to come back here in episode two. Or that there's going to be more going on here. Oh man, you! You heard her, haven't you? What are you talking about, old man? The lady! You heard her voice! You've heard the message! I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, you mean the woman on the radio? Oh man, I knew, I knew! You can always tell. When you've heard the word, you're marked, man. I can see it on your face, clear as day. You know who she is? I don't know her, only know of her. She speaks in set intervals, not all the time, and only to those she has marked for greater things. It's the numbers, the code. What code? What do the numbers mean? They say the code can reveal your future. How you live, how you die. It's partially reality and partially what you need to hear. The only person who can say for sure is you. So basically, you can just make up whatever shit you want and say that's what she's saying. How am I supposed to figure that out? Believe or don't give a shit, whatever. I know she's real, she read out my birthday. <laughs> Alright, old man. And then we've got, like, crusty old Indiana Jones here. Before we talk to him... There's one other fellow we want to see. Actually, never mind, he's up here too. I just went the wrong way. Party hard. The easy e It's our bike right there. Got this shady looking motherfucker back here. Scaver, what a surprise. I trust the day finds you well. I'm good. You? Oh, absolutely marvelous. You seem tense, Scaver. You need something to ease your troubled soul. You buying? I'm not looking out get high, pal. I hear, I hear. You don't need a high, you need something practical. Something to up your game. How about a stim, huh? Military issue. I got some. You have stims? Which one do you have? Something you in particular would kill for. I got some regen. You know what that is? You'll heal twice as fast. Purge is a real gem. Take a few before you dive into a hot spot. I also sell some ammo, but don't tell Smiley. That's our little secret. All right, make me an offer. I always knew you'd come around. I have a regen stim for 250. I also sell purge for 200. If you just need ammo, I sell clips of nine mm for 100. Your choice. So he doesn't actually sell the same ammo that Smiley's selling, but his prices are pretty high. So we're actually just gonna take the purge, which is the anti-rad medication, and we're gonna hold on to that for a bit. As I always say, you're only as good as what you're using. Don't be a stranger, Scather. Come back anytime. Thanks, Bagman. <laughs> Alright, so we're about ready to head out. We've got an idea of how to get to Michonne. Smiley is a crook and a liar. Perfect time for a laugh track. Howdy. You're the fella with the motorcycle, ain't you? Damn fine machine, that. Yeah, she's a beauty, all right. 
Easy E Tesla Glad 79, right? I remember seeing an article about it in an old comic. I always wanted one, too. Back when I was a kid. Man, what I wouldn't give. You trying to buy my bike? I was just about to say how much that would have made life easier back when I used to travel. And what places have you visited? Been to the city a few times, walked south a ways and north too for a few miles. Didn't find anywhere worth going back to. Decided to settle here when I got old. What can you tell me about the city? <laughs> What's left of it, you mean? Took a nasty hit on the north side. Used to be good scavenging if you could deal with the radiation and the looters. Any place worth looking for? Not much left, I'm afraid. Every year, another one of the towers falls down, covers up even more. And every few years, the flooding gets worse. He tells us a bit of a ghost story, but honestly, it's really long, so unfortunately, I apologize, we are going to skip it. I would like to get something done in this episode besides chatting. I accidentally just used one of my first aid kits. The problem is, it's Q to use stuff, at least that's what I have it bound to. So, sometimes if I take my finger off W, like when I'm in a dialogue tree, <laughs> I put it on Q when I put it back. Alright, Smiley, let me get out of here. I'm ready to head out. You sure, Waster? If you're ready to head out, I'll let my boys know to open the back gate. I'm ready. I'll get my bike and meet you there. And there are no items or secrets to get. Alright. So this is Highway Holocaust, and it is, as you might expect, a level that's all about driving. And I think this is actually a pretty good level for the bike. It's very open, there's not a lot of reasons to get off your bike, like there's a lot of straight stretches where you just drive. Now I remember where I got off, because we're gonna save. Also, just something very handy to know that I wasn't aware of before, but if you need to do a turn on your bike, rather than slowly circling around, just get off, and then it will face whatever way you get back on. So it's a lot easier to stop and, you know, turn around like that. This level has a great track, too. There, is, I don't think there's any bad music or, you know, uninteresting music in this mod. It's really well done, the soundtrack. So before we head down the road, we can head over to this little building here. Can't actually get inside. And this isn't even a secret, there's just some ammo back here. And you can see there's the dam. Alright, now we can actually let her cut loose a bit. And again, there's nothing to find here off to the side, so we don't have to worry about looking through all the corners. Except there is a little bit of a detour right here. Got a couple vultures hanging out in a dead end over here. At this range, they have a pretty unlikely chance of hitting us. Well, aside from these fireballs, but... You can just kind of hang back and pick them off. Or, get the pit fiends to fight them. If you can trigger the infighting. Alright. It's them taken care of. Grab their shotguns. And... That was really faint, but he's like, somebody went over the limit. I guess this collapsed on their <laughs> truck. We got our first secret here, which is some more armor. Pretty good, because we're almost up to 100. But yeah, just a lot of open space wasteland in this area, and collapsed roadways. Gotta be 
careful here. Oop. Ooh, yeah. That wasn't too much damage. It was about 10 health. Going off of jumps like that is a little hard to avoid damage sometimes, even when you're supposed to go off the jump. Alright, well, we're not too far from the city. Gonna save again there. Some of these jumps, it's not clear if you should be able to make them, but you can on the bike. Surprise, bitches! <laughs> I figured that was gonna happen. It's pretty hard to go through that window without dying. Uh, did you, I, what just happened there is I got off the bike when I was dead. And it sank into the ground. Alright, so maybe not smash through the window when I have no health. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to save, and then we're going to try it again. Hmm. See, I'm going a little too fast, which makes it hard to actually run these people down, but you can kind of hit them all in a row if you hit it right. Alright, we'll try one more time, then we'll do it the normal way. Yep. I got stuck. I was trying not to go too fast, and I got stuck on the ground. Alright, so let's not just suicide rush in there, even though it's kind of cool. Let's leave our bike here. Cafe dining cars. We don't have to stop here at all, we could just keep going, but... Scavengers gotta scavenge, you know? So these are the guys we could have run down that were standing up here. I mean, I could use my health pack, but I'm trying to hold on to it. Alright. Now that I got hit again, you can see we also have the lock case here. I'm gonna use my regen stim that we picked up in the first level. Which will just regenerate our health over time. It actually lasts a little bit longer than it takes to get the full health, so if you take a bit of damage while it's healing you, it's okay. I wanted to hold on to that until we were almost dead. And then we could save our medkit. Not really much back here, just kind of a junkyard. Some doors we can't open. Damn. I don't know how I kept missing that shotgun shot. But as you can see there, you can actually interrupt the reload by using the secondary fire. I also like the extra detail that on the first shell being reloaded, you actually do have to cock the shotgun to load it. Alright, and we can hop down here. I almost killed myself with <laughs> by hitting those with the shotgun. And 
this will open up the door to the back. There is a secret here as well. Also, don't be a hero, be a hero. Is that... Which rule was that from Zombieland? Was it 32? Alright, so pretty much cleaned out this place. It didn't even cost me too much health. There's no reason to shoot those, but... Why not, right? So if we check over here, another collapsed tunnel. There's really only one way to get into the city. See, the way ahead has collapsed as well, so we're gonna have to hop down here into this gulch. Also, there's this whole, like, area right here that doesn't serve any purpose. There's nothing hidden in the waterfall or anything like that. It's just here for decoration. Which, you know, I appreciate. It looks good. There's a lot of good, just, kinda design work in the maps to make them not just be, you know, Doom maps. They actually have some detail that's just there for detail's sake and not for gameplay. I think that and Vostok did a great job on this. Alright, <laughs> kind of turned around a little bit. Hmm. Dead end. So we need to back up. Head up here. I remember getting stuck in a few places in this level, and this was one of them. Because I didn't realize that you can actually make this jump on the bike. It looks like it's a little too wide. Alright, so now we've actually hit the outer edge of the city. Tucked away back here. Nope. Ugh. I actually didn't mean to fall, but thankfully, he did account for you falling off, so there is a way to get back up. I guess there's really nothing out there, though. You'd think there'd be, like, a secret back here. But nope. Uh, shit. I lost my bike, unfortunately. Well, can you get back up over here? No, you can't. I mean, we don't need the bike. You know, it's not like it'll actually be gone when we need it. But we're pretty much hitting the area where we can't drive any further anyway. <laughs> so we'll just have to leave it. I mean, we move almost as fast as the bike. It's a long way down. I mean, that said, you do actually need the bike to get across those jumps, but otherwise, you're pretty much all right to run the rest of the way. This right here is where we would have to get off anyway, so not a great loss. But I thought that whole section was a pretty good way to implement the bike, to actually give you those big open stretches. We got some more vultures here. These guys are just everywhere, or at least everywhere we want to be. The auto loader is pretty good on crowds. When you're on full auto. Another Walmart truck. But I also like how he uses these, you know, 
these like Mad Max-esque trucks to indicate whenever the vultures are around. It's a good kind of consistency thing. All right, so now we're in the city. We still got a bit of a way to go before we're done with this level. Okay, so this part can be a little rough because there's a whole kind of line of enemies that we can't really see that are going to take pot shots at us, so we just want to kind of rush through. They're all in those windows across from us. This was also an area where I got stuck, but not at this point. There's something we'll need to do in a little bit that's going to be uh, not obvious. Alright, these guys didn't notice what just happened up there. So now we're in the police station. That one guy that we didn't talk to would have told us about how there's a path through it. Hello? There's still one guy here. Sorry. Two. Who's the ringleader? I like that it's literally just like, they put a question mark on the neck. What do we got here? What's up a nudie poster in just a public bathroom stall? And then I guess locks the door so that no one can get in there? Alright, so we need the gold security key to get in there. Hey! Surprised I haven't taken any damage from gunshots in this area yet. Fuck the pigs, man. Now, was that put there before or after the apocalypse? Because I can't imagine these guys have any idea what cops are by this point. Training religious extremism and you with Detective Spam Shade. Please don't. I believe that's a play on Sam Spade. Always take out the shotgun guys first. Because I feel like they're the most dangerous in these groups. I also like the little water sprite. Though I don't know if that's unique or if that's from something. Because it could be either. So there's not much we can do down here in the prison at the moment. And that's why you make sure to reload your friggin' guns. Alright, I guess we'll use another med kit. And those pain curls bring us up to nearly full. Alright, this just leads back into the room we came from. They did mention the flooding, so clearly that's happening here as well. Alright. Time for some religious extremism. Now, I'm pretty sure there is actually a scripting that makes enemies more aggressive on you when you're reloading. I mean, it could be just coincidence, but it seems like anytime I stop to reload, they come after me. Which, you know, bravo if that is the case. I don't think there's typically a lot of advancements in Doom Mod AI. We need a silver utility key to get in there, but we don't need a red key because it's already unlocked. And I guess this is the dispatch station. 
Or not, never mind. I thought this was a console, but it's just a car that's come through the window. Alright, so that'll give us the yellow security key. These guys were just hiding behind curtains, <laughs> waiting for us to pick up that key. Unfortunately, there's no voice line when you activate this. Alright. Make sure everything's loaded. Got a lot of revolver ammo. I've been kind of saving it, I guess. So this is another one of those parts where I wasn't sure exactly where to go. I shouldn't have taken those yet. I wasn't sure exactly where to go after pulling this, but it actually does open up some doors in the prison cells. Where'd you come from? So we'll jump down. Oop. Actually, I have to go down the elevator shaft. It's a shortcut. So that door is open now, but these side doors are open as well. Hey! Ooh, we got them both in one. Now that's efficiency. Two shotgun guys with one shotgun shell means three extra shotgun shells. Grab that junk. Mm, can't grab that health, we're actually full. Not doing too bad, 100 health, 66 armor, and not really low on ammo for anything, so we're in a pretty good state. And here we've got the machine pistol. Now this is a 9mm chambered Uzi, not a 45, which is good, because I'd rather use the autoloader ammo than use our revolver ammo. This thing is super inaccurate, but will chew through enemies at close range. It's not even that bad at long range if there's a lot of enemies, but it's better to spray them up close. Alright, so we can open this. And we can also go back, because there's... I wasn't sure if that's just blood splatters or it was a Japanese writing. Because <laughs> there was another silver door back here. The evidence locker. Got some health, got some cockroaches. And we got a regen stim, which as we saw is worth quite a bit in its junk. So it's good to not have to buy another one. Alright, so this was one of the parts where I really got stuck, and I had no idea where to go from here. Because you can go out here, you can see that there's... There's a thing there that we can't reach to get across to where all those other guys are. So I was like, shit, I don't know how to get across there. Is there some kind of jump I need to make? And I ended up having to look it up when I was first playing this. You actually just need to shoot these. which will crush you if you stay in there. <laughs> so I guess if you just really like shooting all the explosives, you might just do that anyway. But it causes a cave in here that drops the roof down so we can get across. It's clever, I just wish there was maybe a little better hint for it. Because you're like, oh, you wouldn't expect that the explosive barrels actually change the level dramatically. We're actually going to drop down here, because now this is no longer blocked. A little secret area back here. Well, it's not really secret. But there's some more health, some more armor, so now we are doing very good. Three health packs, 93 health, 100 armor, a regen stim, a purge stim, and our locked case. And then, there's an actual secret area here. Must be a cache for the fireflies. 
net us a couple more pipe bombs, which we still haven't actually really gotten anywhere outside of the secrets. Alright, let's try not to get shot too much from here. Alright, so now we have this corridor full of enemies. Well, I say full, there's not that many in here. But you can see there's another radio here, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to imply that the vultures are also following the same signal as us. Don't dead, open inside. I have to wonder who actually decided to <laughs> orient that message like that in Walking Dead. I mean, I guess it was Kirkman, because it was in the comic as well. Hey! Alright, target rich environment, here we go. pretty effective, but we burned a lot of ammo there. That is exactly what the Uzi is good for. How are we doing on secrets? Oh, apparently we got them all already. I thought there was one more. And we still got a good amount of scrap left over. Which we are going to need again. I keep calling it scrap, it's actually junk. Alright, this room is kind of rough. It's big and open, and there are a lot of men in here with guns. So I think it's actually better to kind of let them come to us. It also helps to not just walk into fireballs. I think it's time for a little old pipe bomb. I think that first guy caught most of the explosion, since they do detonate on contact. Okay, I think we got everybody. It's quite a slaughter, actually. But there was some infighting going on as well. So as you can see here, we've reached the subway station. So we're just about done with this level. Make sure to grab all the ammo we can before we head down there. We're actually full up on shotgun right now. We can't carry more than, what, 54? Pretty low on 9 mil, but good on revolver as well. up here. Mm, I don't think so. All right, so let's head down into the subway tunnels at South Station. So that was a pretty good level. Oh, we didn't get all the items though. I probably missed some bullets. The sub caverns. The settlement that Smiley has sent me to find is well hidden, located under a section of the city abandoned decades ago. I've heard little of the area since, mostly involving crazy ghost stories. In the following years, the city had begun to deteriorate, blocking off access to most of the central districts. Maps of the area are easy to find, but often useless. Rumor has it these old tunnels are more or less intact. Even better, they offer shelter from the poison above. Of course, the layout is still largely unexplored. I'll have to be careful. So as you might assume from the music here, as well as that opening <laughs> title's intro, 
this is kind of a spookier, more atmospheric level, which I also think is a very good level. But, of course, we're going to end it here before we head into the sub-caverns and continue next time. Until then, I've been Shadefire, this is Ashes2063, and I hope you'll continue scaving with me next time. Take care, everyone. <laughs>